Hi, I'm Luca Congedo and you're watching from JS to Remote Sensing. This video is about the download of satellite images, the automatic calculation of the NDVI, plus some of the best tools of the plugin. So first we are going to download the images. We are going to use uh, Landsat 8 uh, satellite images. So we can add to the QGIS project, uh, for instance, uh, the OpenStreetMap to see our steady area. Then we can uh, click this button, download images, or from the SCP menu, download images, lens at download. Here we can uh, search for lens images. Using this button here, we can uh, left click in the map and right click to define the upper left and the lower right corner of the search area. As you can see here, the coordinates. So we can click uh, the button find and after a few seconds we can see the results. Here we have the list of Lancet 8 images acquired during several years. We can select for instance these two images and click this button to display the preview of the image. So here we have these two previews of these Lancet images that we are going to download. Now that we have uh, decided to download these two images, we can define the options, the download options. So first we are going to select only band 4 and band 5 for the calculation of the NDVI. Uh, we are going to uh, leave these options uh, checked, in particular this preprocessing option is uh, the link to the tab uh, preprocessing Landsat. Here we are going to check the Apply Dose 1 atmospheric correction. And this option here, Create Bandset and Use Bandset Tools, is the link to the Bandset tool here. So uh, after the download and the conversion, Automatically the band set will be created. Here we have the link to the band calc tool. If we check band calc expression, we can use automatically after the creation of the band set this uh, band calc tool. In particular, we are going to select here NDVI. As you can see, the NDVI expression is automatically added to the expression. The near infrared and the red bands are used in the calculation. So after the creation of the band set, because of this option band calc expression, the NDVI will be automatically calculated. This because the option create band set and use band set tools is checked in preprocessing, and because the preprocess images is checked in the Landsat download. So now that we have set these options, we can click this button Run and select the output directory, for instance desktop. So the download will start. And after the download and the processing, we'll have loaded in QJS all the bands uh, converted to reflectance and the NDVI calculated for the two images. So we have seen that we can uh, download automatically and calculate NDVI for several images. But in case we have already downloaded the images, we can use the batch tool here, in the SAP menu batch tool. Here we can enter several functions of the plugin. Here we have the list of functions and we can create automatic workflow 
from the processing to the calculation of NDVI. So first we are going to select uh, working dir which means uh, the working directory. This is uh, useful because uh, in the batch script uh, we can just refer to this directory as the working directory. And here we are going to select the directory containing both the two images. Next we are going to select the Lansen conversion tool. Here you can see the expression is red because we need to fill the options of this command. In particular the input directory, input dir. We can copy here working dir. So this is the reference to the uh, directory containing the Lancet images. Then we are going to add the remaining part of the path. So here I'm going to paste the remaining part. Please notice that the path must be between single quotes. So now we are going to copy uh, this input directory. And paste it here in the output directory and add for instance uh, the name converted which is a new folder that will be automatically created and the converted bands will be saved inside this directory and next we are going to set the apply does one option we are going to set here one which means that during the conversion the DOS1 correction will be applied and we can see in the preprocessing tab here the option is already checked and we have here the path to the Landsat image as defined here in the batch tool. So now we are going to set the option for the calculation here select Ben Calc. Here we need to set the expression, in particular the NDVI expression that we can copy from here. We select NDVI and copy the expression. You can see here the near infrared band and the red band uh, special names which are uh, the names of the near infrared band and the red band identified automatically from the band set. So we can copy here the path and paste it here in the output raster path and for instance append here the name of the lens of the image again uh, between single quotes and append ndvi.tiff. We need to remove this part of the function that we are not going to use, the extent. And now you can see that expression is green, which means it could be run. We can copy this part of the expression and paste it here. And replace the name of the first Landsat image with the name of the second one. Here, we're going to copy this part of the path. And paste it here, replacing the name of the, uh, the other one image. So we are going to convert and calculate the NDVI of this second image too. We have the expression of the first image, conversion and calculation, 
and the expression of the second image for the conversion and the calculation of NDVI. So now we can click Run. And after the conversion and calculation, we can see here that we have the NDVI of the one image, converted bands, band 4 and band 5, the NDVI of the second image, and the other two bands, the near infrared and the red band, converted to reflectance. As you can see here, the NDVI of the image. In case we uh, already have converted uh, images, we can use the batch tool to just run the calculation of NDVI for multiple images. So we need to replace this uh, part of the expression, the answer conversion here. We're going to remove this part and set the creation of the band set because we need that the band set for the identification of the near infrared and the red band in the calculation. So here we are going to set the create band set function. In particular, we need to uh, set the path to the to the converted images. So I'm going to copy here the path. And between single quotes, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this is the red band. I'm going to copy this path here. So comma, and then paste the second band, the near infrared band. I'm going to replace here the number, band number. So now we need to set also the center wavelength that we can copy from, from the previously created band set here. For the red band, I'm going to paste here the center wavelength, comma, the center wavelength of the near infrared band. Again, I can copy the value from here. It's important that we set the center wavelength for the two bands of the band set uh, in order to automatically identify the near infrared and the red band in the band calc expression. I'm going to copy the band set creation function. I need to remove uh, this part here, the multiplicative factor and the additive factor. As you can see here, the expression is green, but we need to replace you know, also in the create band set the name of the second uh, lensed image. Here. So here we have the script for the conversion of the two images. We can also add, for instance, uh, the clip tool. So we are going to clip the two NDVI rasters to our steady area, defining the upper left and the lower right corner. So here, in the input raster path, we are going to set the path to the two NDVI files, the path within the single quotes, so the path to the first comma, the second file, then we are going to define the output directory here between single quotes, for instance a new directory clip inside the working directory.
Then we are going to define the upper left and the lower right corner of the clip area. We can uh, copy from the map here the upper left X here. between single quotes and the upper left Y then we're going to select the lower right corner again copy the coordinates from the map and set the lower right X between single quotes And the lower right coordinate between single quotes. Now we need to remove uh, this part of the function that we are not going to use, the shapefile path, and as you can see the expression is green, so we are going to clip the two NDVI files, so the two NDVI files will be saved inside the output directory with the output name prefix clip. Now click Run, and after the calculation here, we can see that we have the two NDVI files, the clipped NDVI files, inside our steady area with the coordinates that we have defined with the clip command. As you can see here, the NDVI, the difference between the two images. So here we have defined a batch script, but we can also use the other functions of the plugin inside this batch tool. And of course we can also export the batch script to a text file and import the batch script from text file. Thank you for watching.